Hey guys, so I was debating with myself whether it was worth like what like pretty much covering this this week's episode and doing a review of it. Not only because it's filler, but I also asked myself, am I even going to have anything to say about the episode? However, after watching this episode, I realized I needed to just I needed to talk about this episode if for no other reason than than, than to just get all my all, all, all my thoughts all my thoughts out there just basically on the episode on some and honestly on this season as a whole because as everyone may or may not know i have been one of the bigger defenders of this arc switch up however between last week's semi reveal of a key character and this and this week being filler it's gotten a little bit harder to defend this season more and more Although, or, or at least the back half of the season, because e e even though, e even now, because al although even now, like, the, the, the thing is, my, my biggest criticisms about this episode and this season, honestly, have nothing to do weirdly with entertainment value, because I have been, honestly, I've been one of the few who has still been genuinely entertained by this season, but at the same time, I can recognize the fault in the technical handling of this season because for me the biggest problem with this episode is that it even is kind of that it even exists and and just and just has me questioning if bones can even afford to, to in order to have this episode exist at all because or or even even make another filler episode even even make a filler episode like this because because what what because what, what while at the same time because well Cause, 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 don't get me wrong. The Bones, from what we understand, is still adapting the the Metal Liberation Army arc. But after this, but the thing about this upcoming anime, but the thing about this upcoming arc that anime only need to understand, is that even though there's even though there's only 20 chapters of material left after after episode 13 was adapt was was made, and Bones still can conceivably adapt that into the remaining chunk of the episodes. The same thing about the, 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 the same thing to understand is that it's a very hefty twenty chapters that got, that, 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 that 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 where you, you pretty much get into so you, you you pretty much get so in depth with the characters and story in the Metal Liberation Army arc that it practically feels that even though we're only adapt and that even though it's only adapting twenty chapters, it's that, that twenty chapters is going to feel like thirty chapters. And again, I know I know I keep bringing this up, but that's up, up, but that and and that that's basically in that that's basically without include without talk, taking into account the scenes that have already been been cut out of the Endeavor Agency arc and just kind of figuring out where and how the the those these scenes are going are going to get re rearranged, reorganized, all that kind of thing. Now, with that said. Despite the behind-the-scenes studio issues I have with this episode and just with this season as a whole, on an enjoyment level, I do have to admit, I actually kind of like this episode. And, and n not, 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 not only because it feels like a semi-continuation of the Sue You filler arc, f filler episode from season two, which to this day is still kind of my favorite, my favorite like filler episode but it is it it is watching an episode like this that makes me realize the anime is handling Ochiko's character development better than the manga like it's one of those things where it, now let me explain even if you want to argue that this episode's filler and it doesn't count you still have I think we still have to acknowledge that it's it feels like it feels like it feels like it's contributing more to Ochiko's development and character at, at least to a degree of giving her moments that, that make her stand out more as an individual from the group compared to the manga, where only recently it started to feel like Ochiko has become her own character again. And, like, because for me, like, the, the last time I ever felt ever felt that, that I was invested in Ochiko was probably in... was, was, was maybe season two during the sports festival. But after that, she kind of just kept getting grouped up with everyone else and, and and it didn't feel like like, like like she was ever allowed to have a moment to herself so even if it is filler 
it's just nice to see Ochiko have a moment where she can stand on her on her own and even kind of, and 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 in terms of and to a degree and and and, and again since this episode was kind of a semi continuation of the of Suyu's filler arc, I I also kind of liked how, how this episode also also kind of felt like how, also kind of felt like 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 like, like, like for Ochiko and, and and pretty much Suyu were, were were this this time were, were able to teach Selkie and uh, able to teach Selkie and Selkie a le- Selkie a lesson in, about being a hero. Like but before it was it was Selkie who was teaching o- who was teaching Suyu about being a hero, but this time it was. It's kind of sulky who is learning from them, I think. Um, on the flip side to that, though, e- 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 on the flip side to that, even though she, even though she did take a slightly more of a backseat in this episode, I did like Sue you a lot in this episode as well. Because again, going off what I said about this episode feeling good, like a semi continuation to the season two Sue you filler, I like how this episode Sue is 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 able to show is able to show Selkie just how much she's learned and grown as a hero since being at his internship and you can generally see her start to come into her own as her own hero taking from the lessons she learned last time and it was just overall cool to see Selkie's agency and, and Ryuku Selkie's agency and Ryuku's agency kind of team up and 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 again through that I, I like how I love to you that this time was able to was not only able to stand out more but but through but through being but through like showing what she can do as a hero this time around again she, 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 she's really able to teach able to teach like, like even from in selfie a lesson about what it means to be a hero so yeah um with that said on a tech on a technical level of the episode itself with with art art animation and even to a degree story structure I do admit this is definitely one of the weaker filler episodes. Like even 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 being placed in where it is, I would even if it were placed somewhere else, I'd still think this would probably be one of the weaker episodes, frankly. And even now, again, I, I still really like it, but yeah, I just just structurally, it does feel like the weaker of the of all the filler episodes we've gotten. Uh, with it, with, with with the only with the only with the thing with the thing getting it by though is is the characters like the characters in this in this season are like the characters in this like the characters in this arc are are, are, are pretty much like the characters in this episode are, are what carry it forward but the story itself is relatively bare bones honestly um although i will say what one other thing i do like is how is is how that is how that beach segment was handled because it did allow for some time to appreciate the moment when, when we let the, the moment, like the, like the moment, like the moment, like the punch before we even jump right into the climax, and it does kind of, it does kind of show that yeah, th- these happy times are going to go away very very soon. But um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Analyst Control. Be sure to hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and. Uh, Just cheer it around, guys. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later.